What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, we need to talk about Shiba Inu. I've been getting a lot of questions around the whole AMA, around uh, what a new announcement could be or a big announcement could be out of Shiba Inu. And we need to talk about it because I've been getting suggestions about creating this video for a little bit now. And the purpose of this video is to really understand if they had some sort of transaction tax or burn tax out of Shiba Inu. Would that make a difference? Would we see a massive impact to the price, to the potential, all of that stuff? And we're gonna go through that in this video. Hopefully you guys can get a ton of information out of this. But before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. One of those links being my uh, Let It Burn channel, which right now is doing a 12 hour live stream uh, to where all of the chat revenue, <clears throat> all of the member uh, membership revenue, all of the revenue from ads, the ad revenue, everything that's profit goes towards burning off Shiba Inu. So if you are a person that loves Shiba Inu Burns, go and support that channel, subscribe and watch. You don't have to be a member. You don't have to send any money. It could be something that could be free or you can add to the pot as we do uh, burn off every single month. Just imagine this. 10,000 subscribers that are all members, that's $10,000 that we would have towards the burn. Obviously, we would have to factor in taxes, but we would have a massive amount that we can burn off and then add in the ad revenue and all of that. So we could have something really, really big here with people not spending money and spending a very little amount of money. So if you want to be a part of that, go over to the Let It Burn channel, which will be the first link in the description and, uh, you know, join the community today and uh, we can burn as much Shiba Inu as possible. But <clears throat> we're going to talk about Again, Shiba Inu in this video, because there's a lot of hype around the um, AMA. There's a lot of hype around what questions are going to be asked and what they're going to answer. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of hype around just understanding if there's going to be an announcement of like a, a burn tax, because even though those same people, us, you know, that are holding this position, will still have to pay any type of burn tax on selling the position as well as buying more, it still creates more potential in the position. So what we're losing in that 1% could be massive in the end, right? And how much we gain. So that could be very small compared to how much we gain. That's what I meant to say. So um, let's go ahead and dive into see what Shiba Inu's price is. We'll look at um, some burn uh, burn rate over the last 24 hours and see if that's enough. And then we'll also um, you know, go into the detail of the 5% or 1% or whatever the burn transaction rate will be. Um, uh, I do ask that you guys subscribe to my uh, Twitter if you want any type of information on burns or if I'm going live with my 12 hour burn uh, live stream or whatever. You know, I have a bunch of different updates on here, so feel free to follow me on there. But let's look at Shiba Inu. It is up about 4%, 4.4%, 444, as you do see right there on the screen. <clears throat> now it's just changed to 3.5%. But you can see it's at 2651, right? It keeps fluctuating and it went up to 27, decreased down to uh, 26 again. We did see the crypto market that was down, you know, a little bit uh, early, early this morning, but now we're starting to see it pick back up. In the last day, again, it's up 4.5%. Uh, In the last week, it's down about 11 or almost 12%. We do see in the last month, it's up 7%. In a year, 375,000%. And all history is 1.84 million percent, <clears throat> which is big. Uh, you can see here the typical hold time is 83 days. That tends to go up. Every other day, we see that go up to a different level, which is getting closer and closer to Bitcoin-like levels or Cardano-like levels. You know, uh, people are holding those positions for quite some time. And uh, if we have the ability, obviously, to stake quite a bit of it, which 40 trillion of these coins are staked, yeah, we can definitely see a uh, long hold time. The market cap right now is at 14.0, uh, basically 14 billion flat. We did see the volume that's up, which is not necessarily the best thing in the world. Um, it's not the worst thing, but we do see it at 14.79% um, up, about 1.4 billion. <clears throat> so... Like I said, most most of the hype is around burns, and this is why I created the Let It Burn channel, and you can burn as much Shiba Inu as possible. But if we look at the rates really quick and understand if we're burning enough, we're burning about 3.8 million in the last 24 hours. That's nowhere near enough, 
right? If we want to burn off anywhere near where we want to get to in price, we need to burn off 158 to 160 billion coins per day, not per month. Like we're, we're burning right now, we're burning 1 billion per month. If we can burn 150 billion per day, that will really give us um, a leg up in where we need to go. And I'm hoping that's the case where they implement some sort of 5% burn, right? <clears throat> but some people are like, hey, what about a um, 1% burn? That seems more conservative that they will add that. And then we can see uh, a lesser amount burn off and it could take us a while to end up burning off that much. Well, let's take a look at this. So if we go into uh, my spreadsheet here, this is transactions from the 18th, one day on the 18th, 5,000 transactions here. If you go up the list and I selected all of them, 5,000 transactions here. And we, we vary from uh, a low range, probably in the hundreds of thousands or uh, tens of thousands up to, you know, 1 billion, right? You could see a crazy amount that could be burned off in, in one instance. <clears throat> so, uh, or not even burned off, it's, it's transactions. So people buying 1 billion, not burning them off. So let's go ahead and sum all of that up. And we summed this up this morning and talked about this. We're seeing about 3.8 trillion uh, supply in transactions. So current like quantity of transactions, it's 3.8 trillion. How much would that be if we had some sort of a, a tax on it? You know, 5% burn rate that we would see in it. Well, this is a 1% burn rate. If we took the, the total amount and we multiply by 1%, we would look at 34 or 38.4 billion, almost 38.5 billion, right? That's a lot per day. That would be amazing, right? Because right now we're burning off 1 billion per month, right? We're looking at uh, February, January, December, November, all of those months were at about 1 billion with the exception, I think of one that was at about 2 billion. So on average, right now we're looking at about 1, 1 billion, 1 1.2, 1, yeah, 1 1.2 billion or something like that. <clears throat> so is that enough? Well, if we actually see that um, into a level where we're burning it off per day, we multiply this 38.4 by 365 days because crypto is every day of the the um, the week, or sorry, every every day of the week, every day of the year, basically. We're looking at 14 uh, trillion that we would end up burning off in one year. Now we multiply that by uh, 10 years, and that will be 140 trillion. Now it sounds like a lot. It sounds amazing, but we would still be at a 390 or or 400 trillion dollar market cap or 400 trillion. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting all these confused. 400 trillion supply. That's where we would be at if we just burned off 140 trillion, which sounds like a lot. But we need a higher uh, transaction rate if we're going to see that happen in the next 10 years, if we're going to see it get to a lower and lower level. So how about we factor in something of maybe a 3%? A 3% um, tax would be $115 billion per day. Now that's still a lot. That's amazing, right? We would have uh, $42 trillion <clears throat> per year that we would burn off. And we would have uh, $421 trillion that we would burn off in uh, in 10 years. So if we look at that and we take um, 589, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, we take that much and uh, we subtract, hopefully I did that many, we subtract um, this amount, we still have 167 trillion, which is still a lot. So we still need a large impact for this to actually get to a penny. Now, will we see high prices? Yes, compared to where we are, we will see high prices. But I think we need more of a transaction uh, burn rate. I think we need about 5%. 5% will give us 192, 192. And I'm, I mean, obviously it would fluctuate as the, the price um, or as the prices go up, we would be able to have these transactions of less and less. So we would probably run into some walls here. <clears throat> but if we look at it from the beginning, we would have 192 billion per day, which if we look at that per year, it would be 70, uh, 70 trillion. And obviously you have to factor in time and all that stuff. But if you look at it over 10 years, it'll be 702 trillion, which is way more than what we have in total supply. So what you would look at is uh, how long at that rate would that take to 
end up um, you know, decreasing. So I would say five years, you could look at five years and you could say 351 trillion, then you'll start to see a lot of the price fluctuate where you won't have 70 trillion that you are burning off. It will be less and less as time goes on. Now, if we wanted to do that calculation, we definitely can. But right now we don't have that data to see how much we would end up spending if, uh, if the prices were a lot higher. But the point is, <clears throat> is that we can see a massive transaction burn rate that can affect the, the price, um, can affect the supply, that if we had this type of an announcement, hey, you know, every transaction that goes into Shiba Inu, even something as simple as 1%, I think would create a lot of hype around it. And I would be happy because then something extra, um, you know, aside from my Let It Burn channel would be uh, big on burning Shiba Inu. And it would be every transaction that we do, which would be 5,000 transactions per day, or even more than that, right? You know, buying and selling. So I'm really hyped to see what they have to offer and how big this this news will be. And hopefully you guys understood that. I know it was a lot of back and forth and a lot of like, what if scenarios. Um, there's a lot of speculation here. We don't know. We really don't. And I think the unknown is what makes this entirely uh way too interesting i guess i'm really excited to see what this is all about but guys that's my video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for more videos like this one also if you guys want to check out my 24-hour live streams if you become a member that contributes towards the burn it's 99 cents or five dollars or ten dollars whatever you want to contribute you don't have to do it you, if you don't want to just watch the video uh share the the uh live stream with people and 100% of the channel revenue, as you could see, 1,000 in um, channel revenue is going towards the burns, uh, but we do have to cut it for taxes and all that stuff. So anyways, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter if you guys want updates, but I'm gonna get out of here and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video.